Japanese knives are made with harder steel so they stay sharper for a longer time. That's why they're so awesome. Japanese knives aren't just made of one kind of steel though. There's actually many different types of steel. It's amazing. In general though, we've got two main types of steel. We've got a stainless steel and we have a carbon steel. Carbon steel is famous. Everyone likes it because it holds its edge for a really long time. In fact, it's even a little easier to sharpen and uh, generally works really well in terms of being sharp, but it's not stainless, so it can rust. Now, taking care of a carbon steel knife really isn't that hard. When you use it, you need to wipe the knife dry or else the water evaporating off of the blade will cause the rusting to happen. What you need to do though is you just use it, you wipe it dry intermittently, and when you've finished working with the knife, wash it, rinse it with hot water, really make sure you wipe it dry. That way rust won't form. What you do want though is something we call a patina, and actually the knife will start looking gray and cloudy. That's okay. Orange is bad. You need to remove the orange and you can simply remove it by scrubbing it. Something slightly abrasive will take it off as well. Now, that gray patina on the outside is good. It's actually helping to protect the knife and slow down the reaction. What you'll find at first when you've got a carbon steel knife is you need to be on top of it a little bit more often. So as the patina forms, uh, you're taking care of it more frequently. I like to say you're actually earning your patina. Because once you've got it developed, your knife doesn't react as quickly and you're not chasing it around as much. But don't scrub that patina off, because when you do, you start the whole process over again. If you find a knife that has water spots on it looks ugly and maybe doesn't look clean to you, then stick to stainless steel. The Japanese knives we carry use really specific types of stainless steel that are excellent at being sharp. Although we might find they don't quite stay as sharp as long as a carbon steel knife, they also don't rust and they're a little bit more user friendly. Now, I should clarify, a stainless steel knife can rust, it just takes more work to make it rust. After all, it is stainless, not stain never. Once you've gotten into using your Japanese knives, you might find you prefer one knife safe from uh, a paring knife is better to use as a stainless version, but the knife you use for slicing meat is something that you'd prefer to have in carbon steel. After all, it is the food that will cause the reaction to happen. The more acidic the food, the more the reaction will happen. Lemons, onions, tomatoes, those will make the steel rust faster. Meat with all of its fat and lower acidity doesn't make your knife rust as easily. In our selection of knives that we carry, lots of different choices, lots of different variety. Now, you might think when you see a knife like this that this is a carbon steel knife because of the black finish. In fact, this is a carbon steel knife, but you can't actually see it from looking at it. For example, this knife was super shiny and polished. This is also a carbon steel knife. You really only can tell after you've used it to see if any tarnish develops. In our stores, and you'll see on our website, we also have knives that are called carbon steel core. Those are clad with stainless steel on the outside. Most Japanese knives are made by laminating three layers of steel together. The hard steel in the core is the edge. That's the important one for sharpness. The steel on the outside is softer and protects that hard piece of metal in the middle. In some cases, like these guys here, these actually have stainless steel jackets on the outside with a carbon steel edge. Kind of getting the best of both worlds, you've got some really excellent edge retention and sharp performance metrics, whereas the stainless steel reduces the amount you're having to baby the knife. Some people prefer that because of how well it works and how user friendly it is. We also have some knives that are completely stainless steel and we often have knives that are made with a type of steel designed for making a sharp tool. Something like VG10 or Ginsan steel. They're knife maker steels, they perform really well. They are significantly sharper than a standard western style knife, something like a knife you'd get at Costco and they will hold their edge for an incredibly long time. For those of you that really want super high performance in your knife, but don't want to have to handle that oxidizing, you can look for a knife that's called powdered stainless steel. This is a knife made with something called R2 stainless. It's a really fine material. Uh, the downside, a little bit more expensive as a raw material, a little bit more difficult to work with. It does hold its edge an incredibly long time, and is completely stainless, but it does cost a little bit more at the end of the day. 
Thanks for watching. If you have more questions and would like some more clarity on stainless steel, carbon steel, what's at steel, who's at steel, hit us up, hello at knifeware.com. We have people there 10 hours a day. They're happy to help, happy to answer questions. If you can't make it into one of our shops in Calgary, Edmonton, Ottawa, or Vancouver to chat in person, please hit us up on knifeware.com to see more selection, read some blog posts that talk about this subject and others, and follow us on social media.